How's it going everybody? Welcome to Dinkum. This is a game just like Animal Crossing, but based in Australia. A little bit more survival to the game, which is super exciting. And um, I don't know too much about it, but we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to get started by making our handsome little Dinkum, Dinkaneer over here. I'm going to give him some like basic looks just so we can jump straight into the game. Oi, we're going to go with the blonde spiky look. That actually looks quite nice. I'm going to give my guy like... Yeah, that's looking, that's looking, oh, that's looking perfection. I need a tiny little nose like that. Can I give my dude some freckles? Bruh. I think that honestly, oh, a little smirk? Let's give it to him. I'm going to give him, oh, I actually really like that right there. Perfect. Can I do this? What's my name? My name's going to be Daniel. And what is our land going to be? Jaceland. Jaceland's what I always name it. If you guys don't know who Jace is, that's my son, my 15 month old. Baby, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of down below. Huge shout out to all my Patreons. Liam, I love you, bro. <laughs> uh, shout out to massive. Honestly, shout out to everybody that's been supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Can I skip the intro? Because I know it's kind of going on. Sorry. So basically, we come from a horrible, horrible little area. And nobody has a feature or anything like that. We meet a lady who's willing to take us on a journey over to Jaceland. And that's where our journey begins. So, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to find a place where we want to live. Because Fletch has sent us here. Looks like we've landed. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure, Daniel. I was starting to think no one from South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first only per first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at the old flesh waffle on. Let's get cracking, Daniel. I'll see you on the outside, okay? So here we are. Welcome to Dinko. WASD to move around. You can actually hit spacebar, which is kind of cool. Now, because we're in Australia, there are a lot of things that want to kill you. So if I go like that, we can kind of look around. The fishing in this game is actually super fun, but I should be able to... Okay, never mind. I can't jump right in there. We have a little bit of more missions to do. I can technically jump right into the freaking water and the sharks and everything. Just so good to be on Jason now, Daniel. You gotta get a little bit started. I'll give you a base tent. So I gotta go find. Basically, I gotta go find a nice place to make up our starting town. Kind of like Animal Crossing. So here we go. We got ourselves that. We also got ourselves an island map. So if I go ahead and hit M, it shows us where we are. And look how big this game is. We're gonna build an absolute beast of an island here. So let's go. There's a dingo over there, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna get out of that. I'm gonna make sure I pick up everything that I can on my way. Whole bunch of dingoes. Should I pick up everything? Because I don't really know anything's really useful for yet. We're gonna kind of just explore and take whatever I can. There's a gosh damn crocodilio. As you can see, now if I get, I get super close to him, he's gonna actually try and kill me. Just, oh, see? See what I mean? Just like that. It just chomped my butthole. So, yeah, let's uh, make sure our bunghole don't get chopped. What is that? That was a freaking turkey. So, I want to look for water. I want to live by water. I think this would be a great idea. So, what if I do this? Let's go for maybe an air. Oh, right down there actually looks quite nice. Let's go run down here. This would be a really nice area, I think. Perfect! A little bit of water. I'm completely happy with this. Let's go ahead and make our town hall right here. Perfect place for the base tent. Yes, indeed. There we go. So it's ready to decide to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect for our new home on Jason. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. You know what? I actually have a tent for you two. I know it's not much, but it's a place you could call home. Now, there's plenty of room to spread out here in Jason, so please take your time. I'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit. Sorry, I'll be the yawn. I just got off work. I'm working a long day. So, so mind you, I'm to make sure face. Uh, I'm going to get everything ready. Speak to me once you get your tent placed down. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and go live by the water. You know what? This spot probably perfect. I think I might be in the way. Yeah, it looks really good. I, I like it like that, but I want the houses to be kind of so I, can, so I can actually see it, so. Boom, good place for my tent. Yes, indeed. Perfection. We got ourselves our own little home. Woohoo, let's go. Let's go. What's up, dingo? Or whatever the heck they're called. Dong, ding, I don't even know. 
Let's go talk to Fletch. We got ourselves a base built up. Yep. Found a good place for your tent. I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what. You've got the spark, Daniel. That's what everybody at work says. So let's go. You see, most people back in South Town are scared of leaving. There's something about that place that pulls them... Pulls the spark out of the people. I'll tell you what, we are certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader John? Of course I have. He's the guy that goes ahead and sells stuff. He's a bloody legend. Trading is his very in his very blood. John got a contact with me before he left South City. He's interested in visiting and opening a shop here. I'll tell you what, it came to opportunity like this. I reckon getting a visiting site deed ready for him. It's a good place to stay in Jason. Visiting his ID. All right. So basically, when you play Animal Crossing, you have an ab ability to get people that move. Oh my god! You got people that move into your town. So that's what we got here. I don't mean to yawn, but man, I'm a little bit sleepy. Sleepy Daniel. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. I think this would be a really good spot. So, boom! Visiting deed site. Yes, sir. Bob. Fletch. Let's go. Open pockets. Woohoo! I love how I can just jump around like a little bat out of hell. We're all so we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, Daniel. Let's get a little achievement. All right. Remind you of much better. To the adventurer, he loved doing things, keeping things in track of his adventurer's journal and get milestones as well. He's got a bit of a long end on the tooth. Please, I want you to have his journal. Please take care of it. Now this is where we're gonna get our tasks. So we're gonna get the journal. This is gonna give us some little bits of tasks. It's gonna give us some of these little tickets up here. But I think my dad would be glad someone like he was looking after it. I would challenge you, Daniel. Why don't you try to beat my father's milestones? Some of the milestones are gonna take a long time to complete. To complete, but there's no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to these journals. A bit smaller journals. But... All right, all right. So basically, we're gonna try and get all these permits. That will allow us to do a lot of things on the island, and you get them by getting these little merit points in or money. So, time to go eat some food. I want us to learn how to make a campfire as well. So, crafting table, rock path, a whole bunch of fun jazz. All right. Oh, oh really? I literally don't mean Tion, and I'm so sorry. I just I got a problem. Let's go ahead and get her the little tasks here. There we go. Harvest three lime brush, catch two bugs, craft one item. That's what it wants us to do right now. So let's go ahead and go around and gather up as much stuff as I can. There we go. That's what we want. What effect though? I'm gonna try and collect up as much items as humanly possible right now. Yoink. There we go. It should be enough for now, I hope. Kind of don't want to just run into Narnia on our first day. Oh my god, every time I see something... See, like, this stuff, this is so bad. I'm so bad at this. I just want to take it all. But there you go. I think that should be enough, hopefully. So how do we go into our pockets, which is cool, because we can actually take our clothes off. That means we can get different clothing. That's a neat little... Oh my god, it's like a cockadoo, I think it's called... Find something to eat. Found it. Talk to Fletch. Is that not food? Oh, I haven't even found what I'm looking for. Oh my god. I thought that was what I was looking for. It's not, though. There we go. I found it. On these little trees. I've never actually, like... I don't think I found a place that actually has proper trees. Like this stuff. There we go. We got some food. Now we can go talk to Fletch. I like that little green lush area. That's really nice. I'm excited for you guys to see the fishing in this game. Because it, honestly, it seems really cool. Can't dive onto that. I was going to see if I can dive and pick up one of those crayfish, but I can't, so... Well, you found something to eat. Eating food will help keep up your energy. Here's the recipe for campfire. Perfect. Thank you so much, my dear. I would love to do that. So let's go ahead and build up a campfire. Perfect. Small raw. And a campfire recipe. Thank you, Fletch. I really appreciate that. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. This is what I want to do. Bing, bang, boom. Firepower. Perfection. Now, can I go ahead and do any of this stuff? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. 
All right, so Octo Fletch. Oh! Oh, you beautiful angel! Just give me a freaking bug in it. Let's go. In a sleeping bag. Hell yeah, Fletch. You're a living legend. Get it! Raw. Blue moon butterfly. Let's go. Over there. This is a good way to actually kind of look around. Let me get them all. So that's actually three different types right away. Over there. I see him and you guys see him. I know you do. Is that a different type as well? I think it was. Can't see some swinging around. Bruh, let's go. You see any more off in the distance or no? I don't see any. Oh wow, we actually made it all the way back to the beginning. So if I go into... How do I do that? To not tab? Escape, there we go. So those are all completed. I don't have to click on them, so I thought I did, but... Right, let's go! Let's go back to base and... What the heck? Meat and bone? Bro, that's a score! I never found meat before. I played this game for about like maybe 30 minutes and I accidentally didn't save it. So that's why we're restarting, but I never knew you could find bone. Bro. Oh my god, is that a spider? Funnel web spider! Oh, let's go! I like how I missed so many times, but that's fine by me. What the heck is that? Something just dinged. You guys heard that? I'm over here just picking up the world right now, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Quack! Let's go. I'm gonna pick up everything because I'm a freaking hoarder. You never know what anything's useful for. And, in, in, um, Stardew Valley shells sell for a lot. If you guys want to see a Let's Play of Stardew Valley, you let me know, alright? I'll do my absolute dun diddly dinkum best. Let's see, is there anything... E to dive. There you go, I got a blue muscle. We take that. I'm out here just trying to pick up the world right now. If we see anything else that I can dive for, I'll go for it, but... I don't want to risk my life and get got, you know what I mean? So what was that? Something dinged. Shell yeah! Heck yeah! Oh, he's got so many points for picking up all those. Wait, so that's... Kick, pick up 250 shells as a goal. Shell, yeah, shell to the yeah. I wonder what the shells are useful for. I never actually picked up so many shells. I just got a freaking crab! Let's go! What do we get now? Picking up fruit and stuff, okay. Apparently we're picking up some fruit, I don't even I didn't even notice that, but we picked up a crab, which is pretty phenomenal, honestly. So we got food for days, boys. Did I just see a butterfly? I did. It, my eyes are phenomenal right now. They're actually like in the zone. I'm actually kind of excited that I found this game. If you guys want a link to it, there's gonna be a link down below. If you also want to support my channel, the best way to support it is by joining my Patreon, where you can pay a minimum fee if you want to, of a dollar a month. And that will really help me out. It goes a long way, honestly. So, if not, you guys can go ahead and hit that like, comment, subscribe, all the plus stuff down below as well. That also really helps me out. I'm gonna grab that, because I think that's a... Where is it? Right there. Dude, I'm gonna catch everything. We're gonna try and do our best to, like, catch all the bugs and everything. So, 100 bu like, 11 bugs have been caught, which is phenomenal. Make sure they document all different types of bugs you've caught. Here's a milestone or additional new species. Perfect. Can I go ahead and look in here and... Oh, the f oh, those are farm animals. What? What? Chase, I have no photo of me. Oh, here, here. This is what I'm looking for. Look at that. We got So we got five little bugs here. Two critters. So we got a blue muscle and a purple mottled 
model down I say from dude I'm out here living the best life this is me in real life too like I'm out here just trying to catch the world it's a gosh dang gobble gobbler imagine just smack it Rah! I promise you I'm better than this dude let's go any more animals that we see? A lot of dingoes. I'm, su I'm surprised that they don't try to murder me. Because I feel like a dingo would probably try to rip me open. Especially if I'm all by myself, which I am. Can't pick up those. Can't do anything with that. I don't see anything under the water that I can go and pick up besides, of course, you know, all that I see there. There ain't no crabs or nothing. So let's go ahead and Player sleeping big down. No, oh, that's actually in a perfect spot. Sleep until tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, day one. Let's go. Look at all that. Boom. Absolute master. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go. That's phenomenal. One level up. And then two levels up. Someone's visiting our island. Let's go. What do we get here? So we leveled up in our forging to two, and we leveled up by catching to one. Hell yeah. Now, I do know one thing. So if I go here, I can actually place this down, and we can have our first ever bug that we ever caught in there. Also, I would like to see what the crab would look like if I put that down. So tab for inventory. Oh, I can't actually put the crab down. Interesting. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the butterfly because that was our very first bug that we ever caught. And then John. Hello, John. Butch told me you're the one for getting this place all set up. So thanks for that. I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Take a look at my race. Feel free to ask me about anything of interest. I can make most of my dinks selling exotic items back to myself. I guess you say exotic really means anything found here. In Jason. Mm. If you find anything that you mean you don't want, try buy it and sell it for you for a great price. Perfect. I like to sell some goods. So I got all this stuff. I'm keeping the spider, actually. How rich am I about to get? 7.8k? Cha ching. Thank you, John. A table saw? That sounds actually really good. How much is a table saw? 5 point? You know what? I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I'm gonna take that. I feel like that might be really... 1k for... Axe. So I could buy an axe and a pickaxe. Fishing rod would be really nice. So let's see what's going on here. Bugs are everywhere for some reason. John wants them all. Here's a mouse and selling bugs. Perfect. You've got, you've got to squeeze for every dink you can earn. Is this called dink? Like our money? Even if it means dealing with shells, here's a mouse for selling shells. Boom. We're making absolute bank. Perfect. So we just got a table saw. Now I'm guessing we can make a little crafting area. So I'm going to put this out here. I like to rotate it. Yeah, that's perfect. I like the idea of laying it like here for now. Now, can I... Oh, I can. Let's go! I'm a genius! Let's go! I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but... Hell yeah, I'm very excited for this. I don't know if, what this is useful for. But... I'm gonna hope that we don't need many of these logs. Cause I'm out here using this freaking thing that I just paid all my money for. And I hope it was worth it. Perfect! Give me all those planks, yo. We also got a new milestone. You like wood, right? But what about square wood? Here's a milestone for cutting wood into planks. Perfect! Oh, what's our new mission? Craft a new tool, sell eight shells, done. Catch four bugs. I can easily catch four bugs. Hey, old Fletch. Hey, good morning, Daniel. Just happened to see that John's all set up his visitor. Told you about helping us here. He sounds impressed. John sells all things from South City. Can you find anything on here? He'll buy fish bugs and all that rocks. He also sells useful tools. 
Because mining equipment, logging equipment, and fishing equipment, all they probably can't sell those to you without a license. Um, actually, do you know. So, in order to buy any of that stuff, you need a license that you can get from this lady here for these points. So, here we go. Actually, the license giver! Okay, I'm talking if you want to use some permit points to buy some licenses. Sounds perfect. So, allow the holder to buy pickaxes, logging license, fishing license. The holder to purchase and use shovels. That sounds really fun. Hunting license with weapons. Farming. And then, allow the original to purchase and pilot water vehicles. That sounds phenomenal. So, we're going to start from the top. We're going to get ourselves a mining license. Perfect. We're going to get ourselves a logging license. Perfection. I want a fishing license. And now, in order to get the next one, we need 500 points. And I'm going to just ignore the hunting license for now because I don't really care too much about that one. So now we're going to go over to John here. And we're, I think mining is what we're going to start with. I think that sounds pretty fair to me. So let's go ahead and buy a basic pickaxe. Take it. Perfection. And then, you know what? We're going to go with the fishing rod because I'm a massive angler and that's... Kind of my favorite thing to do, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, and we're gonna go catch one fish to show you guys how the fishing is, and then we're gonna go ahead and call it an end of the episode. So I hope you guys have really been enjoying it. Let's go ahead and go show you guys how fishing works in this game because it is phenomenal. Oh, we're gonna grab this bug real quick because we have a mission to catch four of them. So let's go ahead and do that. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my goodness! I don't know where that stuff comes from, but I'll take it. Right there, there's a fish. Right across. Bless me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fish to fight it here. So what's going to happen is you're going to have line like that. So the fish is angry. If I reeled in right there, it could break my line. So I'm going to reel in when the fish isn't mad. So you can see to the right, my little fishing line there. So when this fish gets pissed, it will start damaging that line. And when it breaks it, that means it broke off in perfectly. So... There we go. We got our first little dude. He got a jungle perch. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff down below. This is Dinkum. I'm super excited for this game because I really feel like this is something we can have a lot of fun with. I also think that this would be something really nice for the channel because it is multiplayer. So if anybody else gets it, we can go ahead and play together. I think that would be kind of fun and really cool. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff down below. My name is Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. If you want to support me in front of this Patreon. Down below, there's also huge shout outs to you, Liam. Shout out to everybody in the Discord. There's a link to that as well down below. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.